Say, if you've been following in my reviews for these last, uh, what, three decades or so, and if you haven't, shame on you, you know that I really enjoy horror anthologies, so I'll tell you that tonight I have for you a horror anthology. It's a good thing. There's uh, five different movies, four different movies. And I've noticed another trend happening. Now, you know, trends in movies happen for a reason. And I'm not exactly sure what this reason is, unless, of course, it is a backlash against the uh, very popular uh, feminine uh, movement. Now, this isn't the traditional one back in the day. There seems to be a new one, which, uh, well, it's it's... It's the hypocritical one that says, I, as a woman, am equal to you in everything, but you can't compete in my sports. <laughs> okay, you got that going for you there. I don't know if this is a backlash from, from Kamala Harris and, and uh, Sandy Cortez and uh, you know all the rest of these women political figures who are just irritating the hell out of everyone like fingernails on a chalkboard. But we seem to be getting movies with a lot of Lilith in them, okay? And tonight's movie is no exception, all right? About four, maybe six weeks ago, six weeks ago, I did a, a review on a film called Lilith. And during that review, I went ahead and uh, explained the different philosophies of who Lilith was. Now, you can scroll down from wherever site you're watching this review on now, and you can find my review for Lilith for that movie, and I'll detail to you all the different philosophies of who Lilith was and uh, uh, different ways that different religions look at this character. Okay, uh, The Lilith in the movie that I did just uh, four to six weeks ago was actually a Gorgon. Okay, she, they, they made her a, a Medusa, and uh, she was lead princess of a cult of snakes. I guess we could call her a queen of this cult of snakes. Okay, so um, that was a total different take on Lilith. This one presents an interesting example of Lilith and goes with the theory of Lilith being Adam's first wife, a entity, a demonic entity, which, uh, or who, married Adam before God came down to Eden and said, no, 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 you're banished, I'll make you a woman, and ripped out Adam's rib, not the one with Spencer Tracy. Okay, so, so, we, so we have all this going. So we have Lilith in one of the more traditional modes. And we have an anthology, so why was this movie stupid? Cinematic class is about to begin. Your professor. Greetings, salutations, and other sundry affair. I am your cinematic professor and the purveyor of truth in movies, and the truth of tonight's movie is no. <laughs> None of this works. Let me explain why. They've taken the idea of Lilith. You know, this demonic woman. <laughs> Nasty. And elemental, if you follow some of the theories and myths around her. Someone who is totally evil. And what have they done with her in this anthology? They've turned Lilith into a superhero. What? Yeah, this, this is just mind-boggling. There are four stories in this. Uh, there is a teen who becomes pregnant because she's been sleeping with her teacher. Okay. There is an old guy uh, uh, who, who, who wants his wife back. There is a, a, a lust-filled husband. Yeah, 
this is a husband who is happily married, but he still has the wandering eye. There's some other things wander on him as well. And we have uh, a, a damsel in distress, if you will, who has broken down on the side of the road, and a nice gentleman stops to help her. Now, all of these four stories are enveloped into a, a, a wraparound story, which involves uh, a, a priest and a man who are trying to exorcise Lilith out of a possessed girl. Okay, so what's our big problem here, and why did this movie go terribly wrong? Well, what goes terribly wrong is that all of those four stories, you've set up a, a scenario where the man is the prota or antagonist. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you know, you've got a teacher who shouldn't be sleeping with the students but does, gets her pregnant, and then basically wants to get rid of her. Okay. Uh, you, you, in all of these stories, you have, you have the, the wife who feels she's scorned and she wants to take revenge out on her, her husband. You have uh, 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 the man who stops on the side of the road to help the girl, and he's, you know, a serial killer, so his help is not going to be very helpful uh, in fixing her car. So in all of these stories, the woman is the victim and the man is the antagonist, the true monster. So what happens in all of these? Ta -da -da, Lilith shows up to save the day. And they even go into this rant at the end of the movie about how Lilith will protect women all down the ages. And no matter what the circumstances, you as a woman can count on Lilith. What a bunch of hogwash, people. This is, this is, this is very bad. This is like telling you in a movie, you know, you should really believe and trust and pray to Satan because he's going to give you things and stuff. Now, what's wrong with you? You don't pray to Lilith. Lilith is not a superhero who's going to come and protect women and lead a woman army through the... Oh, my God. Here are the people who play Lilith. <laughs> Felissa Rose, Brylin Massey, Jennifer Nagel, Noel Van Brocklin, Devani Pinn, and Nikki Hicks. All of them play a version of Lilith in each of the stories. Hey, Vernon Wells stops by in this one. Yeah, he does. Vernon Wells stops by in this one. He's the old guy. You know, that really just wants his wife back. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Uh, special effects for this were done by Chronix EFX. Uh, Caesar Whittingham is the director of photography, and our director was Alex T. Wang. And, uh, you know, I, I wish I could find something, you know... <laughs> If these stories were stories just about Lilith being the demonic element that she is and just wrecking havoc in, in different people's lives, I, I, I think I could have settled with this and I could have been fine with it. Uh, but the fact that they, they turn her into some type of avenging spirit for all of women, believe me, one thing you don't want is women worldwide starting to worship Lilith. It's like the Wookiee defense. It makes no sense, okay? So I, I just couldn't see this. I couldn't see playing Lilith as a, as a champion for women's causes and someone who will always show up just when you need to, uh, to to save the woman in flight. It's just, wow, it's, wow, wow. No, no. This is for the group that thinks women should rule the world and we should cancel men out altogether. And it's, other than that, I can't see anything worth it. So I'm afraid to tell you that in this version, instead of being a demonic element, Lilith is nothing more than a woman avenger. In fact, she is a woke demon. God, do we really need those? This one's a swing and a miss, folks. Now that you've learned what you've learned, here end of your lesson.